Hello everyone, this is Miss Nuke from Vibe Barber College and today we're going to be discussing anatomy. Um, this will be chapter six in the platinum or grade textbook and we're going to jump right in. You only have about five learning objectives for this chapter so that's not a lot. Um, the first one is to define and explain the importance of anatomy, physiology, histology uh, to the barbering profession. The second one is to describe cells, their structure, and the reproduction of cells. The third one is to identify and define the types of tissues found in the body. The fourth one is to define organs and body systems. And the last learning objective, number five, is to name the main body systems and explain their basic uh, functions. All right, so barbers should study and have a thorough understanding of anatomy and physiology because understanding how the human body functions as an integrated whole is a key component in understanding how a client's hair and skin uh, may react to various treatments and services, which makes good sense because how else would you know if you did not know the, um, the actual anatomy of the human body? So being able to recognize the difference between what is considered normal and what is considered to be abnormal in the body will assist you in knowing uh, what requires or, re or if you need to refer that client out to an actual physician. Um, another thing is understanding the bone, muscle, and the nerve structure of the human body will help you to determine how to provide services that are appropriate for your client. Um, in anatomy, the actual terminology for anatomy would be the study of the human body structure that can be seen with the naked eye not with a microscope, with the naked eye, all right? Um, and how the body parts are organized in its science of the structures of organisms or of their parts. And physiology would be the study of functions and activities performed by the body structures. Um, whenever you see a word in your textbook and that word ends in ology, just know that that is the study of. Ology is the study of, okay? Um, let's see. So barbers should also be aware of the ways in which massage manipulations um, and the uh, absorb, how products absorb inside of the skin used in the practice of barbering and how it might affect physiological activities of the body. Uh, such as increasing the circulation. And we know that in massage, it's going to stimulate muscles um, and it also allows circulation to flow freely through the body and through the tissue in the body. Um, you wanna know about cells. You have figure, uh, what is this? Figure 6-1 over here on page 166. And you want to please make sure that you look at that. And you also want to look at figure 6-2 on the opposite page. Um, cell reproduction and division. So cells have the ability to reproduce, right? Uh, providing new cells for growth. So mitosis, mitosis is the usual process of cell reproduction with human tissue. It occurs when cells divide into two identical cells and those two identical cells are considered to be called daughter cells, daughter cells, all right? And then it talks a little bit about centroids. You wanna make sure that you read through that. And then identifying different types of tissues. So you got connective tissues, 
epithelial tissues, adipose tissue, uh, muscle tissue, then you have nerve tissues. So please read through those to know the difference. In um, discussing body systems associated with organs, we know that organs are structures composed of specialized tissues designed to perform specific function in plants or in animals, okay? Uh, plants are definitely alive. They have cells. In body systems, you have 11 uh, body systems and you want to know those 11. So you got circulatory, digestive, endocrine, excretory, integumentary. Um, you have your immune, which is your lymphatic, muscular, nervous, reproductive system, respiratory system, and then your skeletal system. And know the functions and the major organs with each of those 11 systems that you have, okay? Uh, we know that os means bone, os means bone. So osteology would be the study of bone. Uh, then you got bones of the skull. So the cranium is an oval bony case that protects the brain. That's the cranium, okay? Then you have the facial skeleton. So you have actually 14 bones in your face, 14 bones in your face. So bones of the cranium are made up of the occipital bone, uh, parietal, frontal, temporal, the ethmoid bone, which is that spongy bone, and then your sphenoid bone, which joins all the bones of the cranium together, all right? Um, bones of the face, we have the nasal bones, lacrimal bones, zygomatic bones, mazzilli, and mandible. Uh, be mindful that the lacrimal and the zygomatic, those are usually two bones, okay? Then we got bones of the chest, shoulder, and back over on figure 6-5. Please make sure that you look at figure 6-4 and 6-5 on page 170 and 171. Okay, so in bones of the shoulder, arm, and hand, you got your clavicle, you got the head of the humerus, then you have the humerus, okay, this is your humerus, then you got your radius, and then you got your una, okay? So you want to make sure that you know about the bones of the shoulder, arm, and hand, and in knowing the bones of the hand is figure six, seven. These will be your phalanges and your toes are also considered to be your phalanges. And just a little FYI, you have 14 of those, okay? You got three bones in each finger, then you got two in each, dump, each thumb. So that adds to be a uh, 14. The muscular system consists of over 600 large, and small muscles that compromise 40 to 50 percent of your human body weight that's um how much of your body weight your actual uh muscles will contribute okay um the muscular system relies upon the skeletal and nervous system for its activities and its proper operation so you got a couple of things going on with the structure of the muscle. You got the origin, belly, and then you got the insertion. With stimulation of muscles, we already know what stimulates the muscles. That's massage, um, electrical uh, therapy, infrared light, dry heat, uh, moist heat, which means like steamers, hot towels. Um, nerve impulses and chemicals. Chemicals also can do a uh, stimulation of muscles. You need to know the muscles of the scalp. That would be the epicranius, the occipitalis, frontalis, and the epicranial aphronosis. And you got a couple of figures on here that you want to look at: six eight and six nine. Then we have muscles of the ear. I just want you to know that if something is superior, it is above. If something is anterior, it is in front of. And if something is posterior, it's in back of, okay? That's muscles of the ear. Then you got a couple of muscles of the eye. If it is auricularis, 
um, that's usually, or if it's saying something like oculi, that's something dealing with the muscles of the eye. You want to go over the muscles of the nose and the mouth. The buccinator is your, that's your whistler. Okay. Um, the depressor, la B inferioris muscle, the levator angular oris muscle, la beater, la B superioris muscle, the mentalis muscle, the orbicularis oris muscle, the risoris muscle, and the triangularis muscle. Then you have the zygomatic and the zygomatus, which is a minor muscle. The muscles that attach the arms to the body over on page 160, 176, excuse me, 176. Um, you want to definitely know about that. And then another thing with the muscles of the hand, you got your adductors and then you got your abductors. So you want to know the difference between those two. Um, you also want to be able to review the nervous system, the divisions of the nervous system. You got your central nervous central system, which is your CNS, central nervous system. Then you got your PNS, which is your peripheral nervous system. Then you got the brain and spinal cord. And we know that the brain is part of the CNS, which is the central nervous system. And nerve cell structures and functions, you got neurons, which is the primary structural unit of the nervous system, consisting of the cell body, nucleus, dendrites, and the exon. Then you got dendrites, um, exon, exon terminal nerves. You got types of nerves. You got your sensory nerves, right? Your motor nerves, and then your reflex nerves. Moving forward, you want to definitely um, look over the cervical nerves over here on page 181. Now, let's talk a little bit about the heart. The heart is the size of a closed fist, but it is shaped in the shape of a cone. It's cone shaped. Um, the heart is a muscle and it keeps blood moving within the circulatory system. And a lot of times, a lot of physicians call the heart the body pump um, because the heart is what makes sure that the entire body is going and it's pumping blood and, and oxygen throughout the body, okay? The heart um, weighs about nine ounces and it's located in your chest cavity. A normal adult, uh, the heartbeat will be 60 to 80 times per minute, and that's with a normal adult heartbeat. Um, let's see, but it can be as high as 100 times per minute, and the heart can also be as low as 50 times um, per minute. So that's um, those a couple of fun facts about the heart. You want to know about blood vessels, arteries, arteries, capillaries, uh, venules, and veins. In blood, um, it is a fluid uh, circulating through the circulatory system. It the blood is goes through the heart to the blood vessels. Um, it supplies oxygen and nutrients to the cells and tissues. Um, you also want to know about the chief functions of the blood, that it carries uh, water, oxygen, and food to all the cells. It carries away carbon dioxide, waste products, and it helps to equalize the body's temperature. Okay? Okay. Um, it also seals leaks found in, in injured blood vessels by forming clots. Um, if you have low blood platelets, then your blood will not clot, which means that if I cut myself, the blood is not clotting for the bleeding to stop. So it's just constantly running. All right. That's low blood platelets. You want to look at figure six. Two, two on 184. 
And then you want to go through the different systems. You got um, the lymphatic, the integumentary, the endocrine, uh, the reproductive system as well. And then you got a few review questions in the back of this chapter and not many glossary terms, but you just want to make sure that you um, grow through them before you go to your next chapter. This is Ms. Nook speaking on anatomy and physiology, um, the generalization of it with chapter six from Fiber College. Have a great day. Bye.